Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be reviewing with you today how to create a document in Zoho Sign. After the video is over, please feel free to leave us to send us an email at support at marksgrouplive.com with any questions you have on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve the video library. Here are some of the key takeaways we have for today. First, when you have a document that needs signatures, you can upload the document into Zoho Sign to be sent out and tracked. If you have documents that you send out frequently, such as a job offer, you can create a template and then you can always just go into that to send the document out. And you can pre-fill fields for each document and add fields for information as necessary to whomever you're sending the document to. Let's go into Zoho Sign so I can show you a little bit more. So if we want to uh, not do a template to start with, but we have a document we want to send for signature, we can click on send for signature. And then we can upload the document, which I am going to pull from my own screen. And when this is complete, it will come up with the document name. You can always go in and change that. You can decide how many days they have to complete it. Uh, you can decide whether the agreement is valid forever or for a specific date. And then document type, you have different, you can create different types um, by pressing the plus sign, where here we already have NDA, so I'm going to press that. And same with folders, you can have um, different folders, you can add one, I'm going to put this into NDA. You can add a description if you wanted to, and then what you would do is decide who are you sending this to. So I'm going to send this to myself. And I'm going to give it a name. And then I'm going to say I need to sign. The other option is receives a copy or an in-person signer, which is a different process. Now, if you're only going to have one recipient, it has to be it needs to sign. Otherwise, Zoho Sign will not send it. Once you have this, then you want to click on um, the email. And if you wanted a, the little envelope, I mean, and then you can always send a private note, you know, please sign ASAP. You can save that, and then since you do have a private note, the green box will be highlighted. And then what you can also do if you need security on this, you can set an authentication code. And um, if you turn that on, you can decide the delivery type, if it's email, SMS, or online, and then you can have that set as well. I'm not going to set that for now. And then if you wanted to add either another recipient for signature or um, just to receive a copy, you can do that as well and add somebody else here. Now, once you add an additional person, you have the box under Add Recipients that says Send in Order. If you want the email of this to go first to one person, then the other, or you can unclick it and everybody will get it at the same time. Now, I'm going to just minus out of that. Then you have more settings. You can send automatic reminders to the recipient and you can set how many days you want those reminders to go out. I'm going to turn that off for now. You can leave a note. You can press continue. And once you do this, you, can, um, you have the information here. And as you can see on the right in blue, you have um, who, you know, you, we can fill out the fields for this person. So signature will be the first field here. And um, that's blue because that is this user. If I had a different user, you would have different colors. So we have the signature. Uh, we probably want the full name as well. So we can put full name. And then we probably want sign date. So we can add that as well. If we had additional information we wanted to add for fields, we can do that as well. Maybe instead of full name, we wanted initial. We can do, we can do that. But I'm going to leave it as this for now. And then you would click send, and then it says, please verify the number of fields added for each recipient and confirm. So we added three fields that we need the recipient to fill out. And I can press confirm here. And then uh, we can see that we're now in a screen in progress. So if we were to go back to um, just our sent, we can see that the, the form we just sent, the generic short form, is in progress now. And then under Actions, we can download the form, we can edit it, 
we can view the document, we could send a reminder if we realize it's been a few days, we can recall it, email the document, change ownership, edit it as a new document, or save as a template. So if we were to save it as a template, we could then go into the template section and we can see we now have this as a template. And what we could do here is we can um, we we can we have the recipient here. We can close out of this, and then I'm going to actually show you how to create a template. So we were we went to create a template, and now we're going to do a job offer. So I'm going to upload a sample job offer that I have. And the name of the document, as you can see, the template name is Sample Job Offer. How many days to complete? Probably, you know, I would say seven days probably makes more sense here. Document type, I'm going to put it, um, add another type here and call it a job offer. And then send it to recipients. And here, what you can do here is you can have this be for a role. So one of the roles when you're sending out a job offer is that you have the person from Human Resources that needs to sign this letter. So you can add Human Resources. And you can add their information. You can add name. And you can say needs to sign. And then if you wanted to, you can add additional information here. And then I can add a new role, which would be the job candidate. I can add their email, just use, put a name there. And then you can say needs to sign as well. If you wanted to, again, you have the option of more settings here in the template. You can leave a note. You can continue. And now when you're here, let's say you're ready to, um, to send the document, you can do a few things here. You can uh, pre-fill certain information so it's there, and maybe we wanted to um, pre-fill the sign date up here because that's for some reason what, you know, how we want to send this. Then you can um, offer of, you can put the job title, put job title in here. And then you can um, put a, a sign date in here as well as, let's say that was, well, no, we don't want that, forget that. Um, and then we can uh, add a signature field and again, and actually no, this is pre-filled, so we don't want to do that. So then we want human resources. To, uh, we have certain fields we want them to do. So for human resources, we would want a signature field. And then we would want their full name. And then we would want their job title. And then for the job candidate, we're going to want their signature. And we're just dragging here. We're going to want their full name, and then we're going to want their sign date. And actually now I'm going to go back up to the pre-fill. I'm actually going to get rid of this, uh, I'm going to delete this field, and what I want here is really a text field. And for the signature sign date as well, I'm going to make that a uh, text field as well. And then you want to save that as well. Now you have the sample job offer and let's say you're ready to use it. Uh, you can view the template, you can edit it, you can do all types of stuff, but let's say now we're ready to use it. So we would go in and um, the first text field we had was for um, the uh, text two that was the one on the top, so we need a date for that. So I'm going to say March 7th, 2019. And the next one was for the uh, job description, uh, the position. So I'm going to just say director. 
then I have who the human resources person is, who the job candidate is, and I can always change these if I need to. Leave a note, and I can do continue. And it looks like it does in the document if we wanted to make some edits to this. I'm going to press continue again. And here's where you can see we added in um, the date from the text field and the title. And then you have what's required from the, uh, from the HR person and then from John as a candidate. And you can send this out. And what you have here is that you have to va validating that the recipients of this are going to have um, a certain number of fields to fill out. And you can see under the candidate, which was my email address, it was three. You could see you have three um, underneath this. And you say confirm. And now you are back in the documents in progress. And you can see that this is in progress, the job offer document. And again, you have the different options that you can do. So let's go back to our key takeaways. So um, as we mentioned, and as you saw, you can upload a document that you need, or you can create a template for a document they're going to use frequently. And as you saw, you can pre-fill fields that you need um, filled out, um, or that you would need to fill out regularly, and you can add fields for what you need back from the recipient. So I hope you, let me, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our video library for other training videos like this one. And if you have any other suggestions for classes or questions about Zoho, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.